Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to show you how I use H delay by Waves to create uh, this guitar dotted 8 sound. This is a very popular guitar sound effect made popular by guitar players such as the Edge, YouTube's guitar player. And it's really cool. It's really fun. And this is a this is an effect that makes your playing sound very complex. Y you can take very simple, not very technical ideas, and you can play them through this delay technique and make them sound a lot more complex and more rich. It gives you a very different texture. It's a lot of fun to play through this sound. So, uh, for this example, I'm going to be using my own song. Perfect is my last single. If you want to listen to the full track, the link is in the description. And this is a little series that I'm making on how I made this track, basically. So, this is part three. You can go back and watch the other two if you want. And let's get right into it. So, the track that you're gonna be looking at is this one track number nine guitar d8 dotted eights this is the one track that goes on through the entire song as you can see the other elements come and go and then come back and then i introduce this one here and then it goes away and then they come back in another section not this one. This is basically the core of my sound. This is like the core musical idea that carries the entire song through. If you have been following this series since part one, you have heard the intro to this song a million times. Well, twice already. Um, but let's listen to it one more time and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the dotted eights. Okay, so here's what it sounds like. So, as you can see, I did copy and paste the same guitar <laughs> um, performance and I did quantize it. I know that's incredibly lazy on my part, but um, I don't care. I was going for a more um, electronic sound, a more, yeah, a more electronic sound. So, this is. Uh, pretty much the sound I was going for so um, it also helps to have a very square timing a very accurate timing when you're playing because that way your repetitions are gonna fall exactly into place and I wanted everything to sound very very exact and fall exactly on the grid because I knew I would have lots of sounds and several of them would have delay and it gets really messy real fast so i wanted to have um i wanted everything to be exactly on time so these are the effects that i have going on lots of them so this is what the basic guitar tone sounds like without the delays and without anything I almost started a new project there. Um, so, as you can see, I automated a volume swell at the beginning. And the guitar tone is just a very basic 
very basic clean very nice sounding just some compression and a little bit of boost to give it a little more gain not too much i'm using two different amps one is like a, an orange and the other one is like a fender they sound a little bit different one has a little more top end this one's a little, a little bit no this one has <laughs> more top end and this one has more low end and it's just a basic clean sound my next plugin in the chain is this tube overdrive it really doesn't matter for this video I'm gonna leave it off so we have so we don't have as much noise in the signal and here it is H delay this is my favorite delay I use it for everything I think it's the only delay that I use literally for everything it's very commonly used for pretty much anything you want it's great on vocals it's great on guitars obviously uh, it has a very clean sound it also can get very heavily modulated it can have this very analog sound and I'm gonna show you how I'm using it for the performance when you are playing in, and you're trying to get this sound you want to be playing eighth notes so for each quarter note you're gonna be playing two notes so if your metronome is this Hopefully you can hear how I'm playing two notes for each beat. I'm basically playing plain, just straight eight notes. And I'm gonna show you what it would sound like if I was playing with, a, with an eight note delay. So this is what it would sound like. It sounds cool, but it's not what we're going for. We're not trying to get the repetitions exactly on top of the next note. We are trying to get them in the middle of the notes that we are playing. So a, a dotted eighth is basically a note that lasts an eighth plus a sixteenth, which is the half of an eighth. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. We're getting into music theory terms here, but you're basically making the repetitions fall in between the notes that you are playing. So it basically sounds like you're playing 16th notes. As you can hear, when I activate the delay, it sounds like I'm playing basically twice as fast because I'm getting one note in between each of the notes that I'm playing. So it all keeps building up and it sounds like I'm playing super fast, but I'm not. And I'm also using the ping pong setting. The dry signal is sounding in the middle and then the repetitions come on the right and then on the left and then keep out alternating like that. I'm using uh, on the dry wet knob I have it in half because I want my repetitions to be pretty much exactly as loud as my normal signal so my first repetition is going to be the same volume as my original sound that makes it sound like it's actually me playing that the second note but it's not I'm not using lots of feedback uh, because when I change chords, when I go from one position to the other, I want those repetitions to die out instead of building up on top of the new chord. Uh, if those two chords are right, uh, be, uh, right next to each other in the guitar neck, that can give you some very nasty dissonances and you don't want that. So you don't want lots of feedback most of the time, you can experiment. So let's reset my delay and show you how to make it from scratch. So this is what it looks like when you first open it, basically. 
Uh, mine is set already to dotted eights because it's the last one that I used. But for you, it's gonna be between the one fourth uh, triplet and the one eighth. So right here. If you want that white serious sound that I was going for, you can click the ping pong setting. And if you want the dry signal like I did, uh, you can turn down the dry wet signal because right now we have 100% wet signal. That means we're only getting the delay, we're only hearing the repetitions and we're not hearing the original signal. So I'm gonna turn that down to 50% so we get 50% original signal and 50% delay. I think the feedback is okay there. I think around there sounds fine. If you turn it up too much, it's gonna get really, really nasty. That's pretty much how you get the sound. If you want modulation, that's up to you. The filters it really depends on your sound and your mix. I wanted even more space on top of that. So I added a Valhalla Shimmer, which I love so much. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like with and without. It sounds so cool. <laughs> As you can see, I have the mix down a bit because I want most of it to be the, the main signal with the delay and everything, and just some space underneath the, the original sound with the delays. And my EQs are very, very mild. This is just for this particular mix that doesn't really matter. Uh, I, I am getting rid of quite some low end because uh, with the repetitions you, you tend to get a little bit of a little bit too much low end I should say and that's not good <laughs> those are pretty much frequencies you don't need on a guitar That's pretty much it. That's how you get the dotted eight sound using Waves Delay. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And if you want to listen to the full track, again, the link is in the description. I would really appreciate it. And that's it. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And that's it. Bye.